Howdy, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play ReCore. I'm Nye. Hi, I'm Mako. We're lost in the desert. I wouldn't say lost. I have a map. A giant piece of white with you are here in the middle does not constitute a map. But it's not a giant piece of white. It's a very contoured and uh, dedicated piece of white. Ah, oh, there's, there's a teleport station. Okay, we do have a teleport station for this area of the map, which is good. Ooh, okay, that 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 is... There it is right there. Hi, Violet. So that's actually a good sign for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it means easier fast travel to this location, obviously. But number two, it also means there's enough over here to warrant a fast travel. Huh. And that's usually a good sign. You know, I'm curious, and curious things happen when I'm curious, so let's... Does this look like a natural staircase and path to you, or is it just me? It looks awfully suspicious. It does. So I'm going to go exploring until the game tells me to stop doing that. It's really weird. This game does not have a habit of of throwing me at instant death walls. It does have a habit of throwing me at or sending me on runs to absolutely nothing, but not instant death walls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the instant death wall. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I ran all the way over here for nothing. This looks suspicious, though. I swear I saw something on the top of that when I was over here. I swear, it looks like there's something up there. Oh, hey, I'm out in the middle of the inky blackness. Let's just be a uh, graphical error. Watch the last prismatic core be up there. It could happen. Okay. So we need to explore in a this worldly direction. That is really suspicious over there. That yeah, looks awfully uh, distinct. Look, that looks an awful lot like a thing, doesn't it? Because those are those are little jump portals over there, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be. I'm expected to go deal with that apparently. Hmm. So I'm gonna be crisscrossing over this wide expanse here because these look definitely like places where where I need to have Seth go digging. Because remember, now we've learned that we have prismatic cores that we can dig up, which is bullshit from the ninth circle of hell. But I mean. Apparently, I deserve it. I'm playing the game. Don't just love it when you have when you have been you've committed the cardinal crime of playing the game. Something, something. We lost it. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna leave that where it was back in 2005 where it belongs. Okay, so this is, this is kind of weird. We have this very large expanse of area right here with nothing in it. We have a lot of rocks. There's a lot of sand. There's, there's, there's nothing. There's no enemies. There's no item pickups. There's no dig spots. There's, there's, there's nothing here. Hmm. Which, to be quite frank, makes my spidey senses tingle. You have spidey senses? Uh, it's how I know when there's hidden items li uh, lying around. The problem is the Jeez, hidden that items... That must real suck if you lose your keys. Oh, the problem is the hidden items typically are guarded by spiders, hence spidey senses. I mean, think about it. In a lot of games, hidden and secret items are guarded by spiders. It's it's mm. just a thing that happens. Okay, I'm a... Ooh, a, a, a what? 
Okay, there's a traversal dungeon in that in that general direction. Thank you, game. Oh. I'm I'm oh. looking at I'm looking at this right here, and I think that's a graphical glitch. See that right there? That uh, yeah, that looks pretty. That strange. looks like a graphical <laughs> glitch. So I want to see if there's some way to get over there, or if this is just. That looks like a graphical glitch sitting out in the middle of the of, of, of the uh, endless pit. That looks like Let's a graphical glitch. There. Let's go see if we can investigate that. Uh, do I see anything over there? Oh no! Only... No! Okay, I'm alive. Only in video games do we see a horrible gra graphical glitch that may indicate a fabric a tear in the fabric. A tear in the fabric, reality. In the fabric the reality. Let's go explore that. <laughs> the is, Let's go poke that. With Let's go poke that. Uh... Well, I mean, uh, there there are games like uh, like Axiom Verge that actually uh, I, haven't, I haven't played it yet, but I have heard good things, and I've heard that it actually reward. Hi, okay. Let me just finish the statement I was about to make. There are games like <laughs> Axiom Verge and apparently Recore that reward you for doing stupid shit like I've been doing. Like, let's look at this ran. Just look look around at the map. Mm -hmm. This random as hell health pickup in the middle of nowhere. Pick it there up before is, you fall off and there is no, so there's nothing, there's nothing, there is nothing that would tell you that this is here. I don't understand why that is in the middle of, oh my, oh, 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 come on, oh, come on. No, game, you need to not reward me for this. This is not something you should giving me items for. Oh, god oh, damn you got it. You got enough springs for your part, too. Yeah, I saw that. We'll, uh, we'll go back and build that eventually. Hey, look at that graphical glitch that's over there that I can now go and explore. Actually, it's looking less and less like a graphical glitch the closer I get to it. Mm. You know that? The closer we get and the more items I'm finding, this looks like this is actually a legitimate place to go. That scares me a little bit. I know. Part of me is, like, grinning like a child at just the fact that there's stuff over here. And part of me is horrified that me trying to continue to do stupid things keeps getting rewarded with free stuff. I do not understand this game. Portions of it are dumped <laughs> extremely well, and portions of it are just stupid. And is just like, here, you've been exploring on the edge of at the edge of tomorrow, the edge of the abyss. Here, have shit. It is. It's a graphical. It's a graphical glitch. But okay, there's you stuff. Know, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of wondering if you know they they gave the they gave the level designers like a a, a, a bottle of whiskey and just said go wild. And then, uh, then they sort of, then after that, they let the level designers... Is, is that actually a graphical glitch? Looks like it. But is it? Does death cost cost you anything? I forget. No. No, it doesn't. I'm going to find out. It's, it's walkable. It, it's definitely a graphical Please. glitch, but you can walk yes. on it. Developers, if you're watching this, like... <laughs> you're gonna give me a complex! What's wrong with you? Oh, what? You just... What? 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 Okay, so... Let's talk about this. Uh, let's, um... Let's have this conversation. <laughs> do we have to? So, so this... Oh, okay, that's apparently too far. Where's it gonna put me? So, so this graphical glitch that I spotted from halfway across, I was over there. This graphical glitch that I spotted from halfway across the map, not only is it walkable, but I actually got items because I decided to investigate it, and it doesn't even exist. It's walkable, and it doesn't exist. Like, it's invisible from the underside. Game. You, you and I need to have a talk. It's time to admit you have We need to talk about things that you are allowed to do to your players. It, it's time to admit that you have a problem. Okay, I'm trying you to figure out. To go back to the crawler I might have to go back there. to the crawler to get back because I don't know if I can actually get back up from here. Uh, this is this is. See, this is this is my punishment for exploring. The game's like here, have some stuff, but you know, if you try to go too far. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to spank you, and that's what this it's is. Probably, I've been it's spanked. Time to go to the crawler anyway, just to unload your stuff. Yeah, it's just I have to I have to now get back up there is the thing, because there was still stuff up top. 
Oh my, Mako, I got rewarded for doing stupid. Game, please stop encouraging him. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe that. Oh my god. Yeah, we were pretty close. Um, actually, let's show off. Let's show off that thing we were talking about. Um, right, that was. So if you go to the workbench, and you go over here to your stash. So we were looking at this, and you know, there's a lot of parts in here. And by the way, uh, for those who are curious about uh, the fourth, um, the fourth, the the, the uh, fifth frame, um, these are actually parts for it. They exist. We've been picking them up. We can't do anything with them. That yeah, being said, up, we have uh, um, we have noticed that some of the things that we create uh, ask for parts from different things, so that you know there might be a thing there. Mm. So let's 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 you know go look at one of the tank parts. So look at the sturdy tank treads. These are you know the silver level. We can grind them down, which will turn them into uh, E Turner. E Turner, that's it. Thank you. Which we absolutely do not want to do because that's We can stupid. combine them, and every three that you have turns into one of the higher level. We can split them, which turns every one that you have into three of the lower level. So if we find that we need... Um, actually, that's actually really nice because it's a, it's a lossless conversion. Yeah, it's a lossless conversion. And what's kind of nice about that is that if we find that we need something to create something, it doesn't matter really what I grind or what I get... And also, it tells you what level the stuff is that you're on the lookout for. So, um, pretty helpful indeed. You have to have had at least one of them to do Time that, to though. That's... Uh, I don't know if that's true. I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. That's 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 an honest thing. Okay, we got to go all the way back up here, and I've got to go back up top there to figure out what else I can explore. But yeah, so that's a thing. So if we need parts, I can get them, which is going to make it a lot easier for me to grind all the remaining stuff that we need to do. Mmm, caffeine. Uh, this morning, I woke up, I looked out the window, and it was minus two after a week of nice. about 15, and I... Celsius for people. Remind you, people, I'm Canadian. We don't use <laughs> your stupid Fahrenheit system. Um, and it's like, no, nope, 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 nope. I'm not even going to be able to handle handle networking today. I, I got to have something better than just a soda. Well, even, even still, 15 is, that, that's what, around 60 degrees Fahrenheit? 15, uh, 15 Celsius, uh, I don't know. It's been like that for the last like month or so. So 15, 15, 12, 10, I can handle, but it goes below zero, and you know that that is actually freezing. So I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember my, con my my conversion, or at least the easy conversion, which I think is I forget what it is. Double it and add 30, something like that. It's something similar to that. Um, you know, we we've had. Yep, that graphical glitch is still over there. Um, we, we've had, we've had some similar weather over here, uh, you know, it was, it was very hot all the way up, all the way through Halloween, you know, we've had, actually all the way through pretty much last week, um, it's been, uh, you know, it's been 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, that is, that, that is sweat, and, uh, that is sweat a lot, that is shorts and t-shirt weather. So it's been, uh, it's been very warm, uh, in, uh, in my neck of the woods. And then all of a sudden, over the past four or five days, it has just dropped. It is now 50 degrees outside. So it went from turn on your AC weather to turn on your heater weather in about two days. Yeah, it's done the exact same thing here. There's... Oh. What? Well, this explains why there's stuff up here. Because there's stuff up here. Huh. So this is actually a legit... Did I skip an entire jumping section? I would not be surprised. You tend to do that. Well, what I'm trying to figure out... That looks like a dungeon. And that looks like a dungeon. So what I'm trying to figure out is if I skipped an entire jumping section, or if I'm at one end of an entire jumping section. And I'm not quite sure... But we do have a traversal dungeon right beneath us, which I believe is going to be a great place for us to go uh, to finish off this episode. So we're going to be going down there in just a minute. Um, but we are up here for the time being, and there are a couple other collectibles in the upper areas. 
So I do want to hit those real quick before we go down and investigate what's below us. Um, this area looks like it has a number of different things to do, which uh, excites and worries me both. Is there something up on top of that rock? That, that, that's, at this point, that's what this game has driven me to. You know? Like, it's the, you know, I've done this, but is there something up there I should be concerned with? Is it even possible to get up there? Why are you asking this, Nye? Of course it is. You have proven time and time again it is possible to get almost anywhere in this game. I'm not even going to try and dissuade him at this point. Well, the question is, you know, can I do it or am I just going to bonk all day long? No. Never mind. It's not, it's, it doesn't, oh hey, I would have missed this if I didn't do that. But it doesn't look like it's doable. Okay, let's grab a couple more items around here. There's just, god, there's just so much to, remember some, remember some of the achievements, guys, are literally collect every one of these collectible items. Collect all the Hello. hardware in each of the four major zones. Really? And is that the last Is that the one? last one? It's got to be, because the other you already had the other four. Okay, well, that is now open. We so that big-ass thing that. is now open. Well, I mean, we need, we need to have Spidey for that. But, um, so that just opened up the Pit of Oblivion, which is a level 25, very large thing with four cores. Um, and then remember, we also have the Obsidian run over here, which we're about to start doing. Exploration dungeon, I'm guessing, is that one. It does look like an exploration dungeon. Okay, so uh, we're going to finish up outside of this dungeon real quick before we go inside. And by finish up, I mean we're going to make this jump. Let's fly. Uh, excuse me. Dang it. I make gigantic epic jumps and make o yawns. Oh, I feel so underappreciated in my time. Yeah, well, I'm trying to cut back on the caffeine intake. It ain't working. Probably a good idea. I, you know, it, it really is almost disturbing how we have not seen a single enemy in this area. That is... Say nothing, and we will not jinx ourselves. Yeah, it, it's just one of those things. Okay, so let's see what this is. This is the Obsidian Run. This is a traversal dungeon. So we got two cores, three treasure chests, and a health up in here somewhere. Now, I didn't see any required frames on this one. Once again, I'm kind of upset that we can't have all the frames with us. I, I still don't see any reason. Oh! Oh, oh boy. That's, oh. That, that is not, that is not pleasant. Okay, here we go. No? No. Okay, okay, guys, it's just closed today. We're just not open. And open. Oh, God. It's, it's a traversal dungeon. Fire. This is no, be oh, inside. okay. Did not want to do that. Did not want to do that. Okay. Um, let's just look around. Look for switches. Okay, I see one down there. Okay, I need red for that. Oh, crap. Got it. No, no, no. Damn it. That's fine. I got it. And I think I hit that. Uh, it looks like I hit it. Oh, I didn't quite hit it. Okay. Um, that's that's kind of a weird jump. Okay, let's see. We don't want to use Mac much because... Um,
We don't want to use Mac much because he actually makes us go kind of slow. I think he's probably okay. just meant to be a crutch or something. Crap. Really wrong. We need we need Spider. Okay, turning crawler. I, I well, should I should have thought about it. Traversal dungeon. Yeah, it's gonna want spider. Hell, I think it was telling you it wanted spider, didn't it? I didn't see that, but I might have missed it. Okay, let's go do this. Okay, we got Seth. Yeah, I might just miss it. I know that the uh, the the pit of oblivion or whatever it is that wanted uh, ape. No, see? No requireds. Hmm. I think in this case, it was just, I should be thinking that if it's, you know, we're, 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 t we're talking about a traversal dungeon, I should be assuming that we want spider. That should be an automatic assumption on my part. I just need to make my jumps appropriately. Okay, so the question is, how do I get up there? Okay, I can't hit that from the distance, apparently. Please fall there. Wonderful. Okay. Did I see any other switches from up here? No. Okay. I see a switch over there. Looks like a red one. Okay. Any other switches? One right there. Good. Four of eight. Neat. Anything else? No? Wonderful. Close. Time to fly. Okay, wonderful. Remember what I said about bastard platforms some time ago? They're coming back to haunt you. It's not even bastard platforms anymore, it's just bastard, uh, whatever these are. Bastard rings. Okay, we need two more switches. We only have 28 seconds, though. Crap. I was gonna say, time limit was never on your side for this, is the problem. Yeah, well, now I know where everything is, so even if I don't get it. Oh my god, do you see that in front of me? Yeah. Okay, that's actually really cool. Okay, we're gonna have to restart this one, but I know where everything is now, so that's good. It was pretty. Uh, I was gonna say, you know, bastard rings, notwithstanding, that's actually kind of neat. Okay, so I died on that one. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this correctly because this is seven levels of bullshit. Okay, so we found ev we got everything except for time limit, and this one's not going to be too hard to do, so I don't actually feel bad about this. We may actually even, if I can do this quickly, we may even have to... Okay, I was looking at the timer, and I was going, there's no way I got that. Um, we may actually be able to go do one of the other two dungeons I saw in this area, if I can get this quickly, because I was only off by... What, five seconds, six seconds? I want to look back here and see if one of our missing things is back here. Okay, so we're not going to bother picking anything up right now, because we're just going to have to go do it again anyways. Okay, restart dungeon. Not a bad dungeon, actually. I actually kind of like this one, to be honest with you. It's short and it's sweet. Yeah, this one didn't, this one didn't feel bad. Okay.
And I, I like what it does. And also keep in mind, it's only using red switches. So I just need to only be using red uh, gun. That's just what I need to remember. And it's all basically just one, two, dash. One, two, dash. That's basically the entirety of this level. Just with various pauses between the one, two. Okay, so let's just do that look around again. We know this one's right here. We know that one's right there. Okay. Just gotta make sure I don't miss any of the switches. Okay. Oh crap. I don't know how I missed that jump. I should have I should have I had flyer ready for that exact reason. And I just chose not to use him. It's okay. I might not be 100% boned. Okay, that's six. Where's the next one? You remember where the next one was? There's the next one. Okay, I see it. I just remember the last one is. You remember what the last one is? Right near the end, I think. Time to fly, Max. Okay. That was... No! Okay, that was amazing. There it Check is. Point. No, yeah, you 12, 12 seconds, seconds left. It. Mac, please? Thank you! I love you! One second. One second left. <laughs> One. Two. And all because three. Mac is a badass that showed up at the very last second. Oh my god, that felt so good. That felt so good. Okay, let's get our goodies. Hard earned. Whew, that was a fun one. I actually, I was, I really liked that dungeon. So we walk away from some the... cracking heads for flyers. Let's be honest; it's all about that final goodie behind me. But we'll just open these for the sake of opening them. Cracking jets, lovely. There's one of my two prismatic cores. We're getting it done, guys. It's happening. It is happening. We're up to 56. Okay, let's see what goofy thing we get here. What have we here? Okay, so that's the uh, K9 propeller head. I'm on board. Always. You know we're going to have to put it on. I mean, of course. Let's get through this stuff. I mean, that's just mandatory, but... Yep. Don't forget to take a quick look-see around for... Uh, yeah, we looked audio. around once for the audio log, but I'll take another gander real quick before we leave. Because, uh, unfortunately, that took a little bit longer than I was expecting, so we're not going to be able to do another one this episode. But that's fine. We got a lot done this episode. Yep, nothing on this side. I mean, I wouldn't exactly put it past the game to hide it somewhere, it's you know? I've done it before, but usually the logs seem to be out in the middle of nowhere. And they also are, like, glowing and shit, so I don't think we have they one here. pulse. Yeah. So I'm just going to assume that there's not an audio log in this one. Okay, we got that prismatic core. Excellent. We'll go ahead and leave. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I, uh, I feel accomplished today. We got some very cool stuff done. Recore was fairly nice to us so uh when we come back next time we've got a we got a lot to explore still i think we have two more dungeons in the area we have at least one more but i think we have two more dungeons in the area and that's before we go all the way back up to that head and start doing some stupid shit up there so um we we got we got stuff that we're doing this is actually kind of neat so um 
We'll get out of the Shifting Sands. Mako and I are going to figure out what the hell we're doing. Because, you know, things, stuff, and all that good nonsense. And we will see you guys later. Ta-ta.